Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we're going to work with Eagle Pose and we're going to incorporate it into our sequence. We're going to build it from the ground up. Okay, so each time I incorporate it, we're going to take it one step further. So if the full expression of the pose isn't right for you today, you can just stick with the previous variation. Okay, so we're going to use our Eagle Energy today to strengthen the legs. And then also, since the legs are um, twisted, okay, one leg over the other, we're going to use that to wring out um, some stale sluggish energy we might be holding there in the legs, and also to wring out any um, thing in the emotional body that we need to release today, we'll wring that out. Eagle Pose is also great as an arm strengthener, and then also to release the tension uh, in the shoulders, okay, so all that opportunity to really release what's like sort of hiding out under the shoulder blades there. All right, so all in one, good for the lower body and the upper body helps to build focus and confidence with your balance, okay? And I'm gonna separate it out for you too. We're gonna do the arms separately and then the legs and then we'll put them all together. All right, I also have of course some core work for you today. So still getting the whole body activated through our sequence. All right, we're gonna start with the centering. I'm gonna start seated today. If you're comfortable working with Ujjayi, that nice ocean sounding breath with the light constriction at the back of the throat, you can add that in today, all right? Otherwise, a nice full breath will serve you just, just fine today. All right, so get comfortable for a moment. And I like to sit up on a block. If you have some, or a cushion or some books to have the knees below the hips. Okay, and you're welcome to close your eyes here for a moment or a nice soft gaze is always welcome. Now feel that grounding action here. Feel the body touching the mat. Feel the base, the root of the body. Really centered here. And then have a nice long spine. Relax the shoulders. Top of the head reaches towards the ceiling. And just come into your breath. And really feel the connection to the breath. So feel the exhale where we soften and release. And maybe you didn't realize when you sat down today how much tension you are holding. Okay, so here, start to soften. Use your exhale, release the low jaw, the shoulders, and the hands belly and just allow the breath to flow here don't force it don't push it try to keep an ease around your breath today Don't worry if the energy is feeling scattered or the thoughts are pulling you in all different directions here. We'll get there, okay? Especially working with our balance today and feeling really grounded in that. Just take it one breath at a time. And in your pose today, I really want you to feel where you can release or let go of any struggle or holding in the pose. I want the energy to feel nice and free and open today. So just be with your breath in the pose and see where you can release any bit of holding and tension and just allow the pose to open up to you. And there's that really peaceful place. And I wanna seek that out today where we're just the witness in the pose. And we're just present with our breath and present in our energy. So let that cultivate a nice feeling of being calm and content. All right, a little more richness and fullness to your breath now. And we'll just start off, um, we're gonna bring the hands over the heart. And then we're gonna start off inhaling. You can add your Ujjayi breath in here. Arms come up overhead, face off, shoulders relax. And exhale, draw that energy back to your heart. And inhale, reach. Relax the shoulders, exhale, draw that energy back to your heart. You can still layer in your three-part breath here. So as you inhale your Dirga Pranayama, inhale, fill the belly, ribs, upper chest, 
arms come up and then exhale from the upper chest ribs and back to the belly. Good, if your head and neck are on board today, you can follow the thumbs with the eyes or you can just have a nice soft gaze. I'm gonna leave that up to you and how your head and neck are feeling today. Good, one more round. And then exhale, hands together over the heart. Since we are gonna be working in the shoulders today, let's um, open them up a little bit. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and then you're gonna bend on your, your left elbow. Here comes Sage, I don't know if you'll see her walk by the camera. And uh, make a nice cradle for your head. Okay, try not to lean forward here and give a light press with your right hand. Sit up nice and tall. <laughs> and then inhale, arms up. Let's switch to the other side. Bend the right elbow and give it a little press with the left hand. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Inhale, both arms up. Now touch your palms and bring your hands together over your heart. Clasp them here. Take an inhale and then expand. Extend the palms towards me. Draw your shoulders back in line and press through the palms. Now inhale, exhale, tuck back in your seat, tuck your chin. Good, give the shoulders a nice stretch. Let the palms still come towards me. Good, now back to neutral. And we're gonna sweep back behind us and clasp. You can get the hands together, great. If you can't get the hands, no worries, wrists, forms, elbows, shoulders back and down, heart open, drop the shoulders away from the ears, top of the head reaches towards the ceiling, breathe into your heart center, don't tuck here, you have all that opening, but remember to keep such an ease um, at the heart here, and if any sensitive feelings bubble up today, please honor them, and we'll start to exude that opening and confidence and strength here as we lead with our heart today. And inhale, sweep the energy up, exhale to your heart, sweep up, get that energy flowing, exhale to your heart, next one with an arm, so your vibration will join our energy. Ah. Great job. All right, we're going to transition. We're going to start off in table pose today. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Get nice and comfortable here. And now we're gonna arch and round the back to start to warm up the spine. Linking breath with movement. So inhale here and then exhale, start to round. Low back, mid back, upper back. Tuck your chin, curl your back up to the ceiling. And then inhale, start to arch and open. Start with the low back, follow the spine. Open the heart, roll the shoulders back, look up. And then exhale and round, round low back, mid back, upper back, curl your back up to the ceiling. And then inhale, arch and open. Good girl. All right, a few more rounds. Own rhythm of your breath today to what feels good in your body. So you can keep your breath going, but you can take two breaths per movement or make the transition really slow between the poses. Okay, come back to neutral. Now we're just going to switch up the angle. So bring the knees about halfway up towards the wrist. And now inhale and exhale, round low back, mid back, upper back. And then inhale, arch and open. And then exhale, round and tuck. Inhale, arch and open. And exhale, round and tuck. Take a few more. And then back to neutral. So come back again now with the hips over the knees. And we're going to come down into a puppy dog stretch, which seems very appropriate with my uh, sidekick walking around here today. So shoulders over elbows and um, arms shoulder width apart. Okay, so lift your hips high now, let your head and neck go, and look between, right back at the leg. Take a breath here, you can come to this at any time during the practice when you need a little break. 
And now we're going to walk out to extended puppy. So if it feels appropriate for your body today, walk the arms out, keep the hips high. Now press the heart towards the mat. Let the head and neck go. Hips stay high. Like the armpits are pressing towards the mat as well. And breathe here. And then come back up into a table. Now roll the shoulders back and down, heart open, curl your toes under. We're gonna lift up and press back to our down dog. And we're gonna keep this one moving. So as you come up, bicycle the feet. So lift the hips high, press the heart towards the legs, let the head and neck go and bicycle it out. Still warming up here. And then we're slowly going to walk the feet to the hands. At this point, it's okay too if the hands have to come towards the feet and just roll up slowly. Sweep all the way up and exhale to your heart. Good job. So to finish off our warm ups, we still need to twist and take a side opening. And I'm going to incorporate that with your half sun salutations today. We'll also just start to get into our eagle arms here as well and start just to get the feeling of those today and see if they're appropriate. And again, there's steps for each part of the arms too. All right, so come up to the front of your mat and find your mountain. So wrap around a little bit, make sure you're not putting too much pressure in the heels or into the toes, okay? And your hip just goes straight down from the hips. Now root through the soles of the feet, inner arches are active. Think about an active lift there. Okay, an energetic lift. Knees are soft, legs are engaged, tailbone is lengthening, so you have all this length in the low back. And then roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Top of the head reaches to the ceiling. So anytime you're in mountain, let the whole body work for you here. It's all active and engaged. I'm gonna bring the hands together over the heart here now. I want you to feel nice and grounded on your left foot, and I want you to lift your right heel. And then you're going to lift your right toes. Just starting to play with our balance here. And the toes can be lifted a little or bring the leg up so the hip and knee are in one nice long line and then the knee to the ankle. Make sure you have your dristy point set while we work today. Something to gaze at that's not going to move. And as you're looking out, draw the attention in as a nice calm focus. Soften your left knee and we're going to step back with intention and purpose into a lunge. So once you get there, make sure the feet are hip distance apart, left knee over left ankle, look down, roll the shoulders up, back and down, strong back leg. Remember, you can make your pose milder or deeper on the position of the back leg. Keep the knee over the ankle constant on the front leg and breathe here. Now bring your arms out in front and draw those shoulders back in line. We're gonna twist here. Keep the left knee forward, keep the hips forward and be mindful you're not rolling to the instep of that left foot. Now inhale here, and as you exhale, we're gonna twist low back all the way up as you draw that left arm back, and then we're gonna open it up here. Torso over hips, vibrant through the arms, breathing here, gaze comfortable and anchored so that that helps with your balance here. Breathe. And then we're gonna bring the left hand together, draw the shoulders back in line, and now take a big step up into mountain, inside lines of the feet touch, all the way up. Now lengthen and release the shoulders, make some space, ribs away from hips with, a drop, with drop shoulders, standing half moon. Exhale, dip over to your left and open the right side, hips and heart forward. So think right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, extend through your fingers, breathe into right side body here. Just turn to the side so you can see. Good, now inhale up, separate your feet, hip distance, exhale, hands together over the heart. Inhale here, exhale, bend your knees and fold. Hands to the floor, shoulders over wrists. Okay, now inhale up to the fingertips, nice long spine, hips behind you, top of the head forward. Now exhale, 
drape the torso over the legs and let the head and neck go. I want the hands to have contact. So bend the knees as much as you need to to get the hands to the floor. Then you can work on straightening the leg. If the hands are easily down, then you walk them in line with the toes. Breathe here, relax the shoulders. You're holding head and neck tension today. Lightly shake, yes and no. One more breath here. We're gonna roll up slowly. All the way up. Inhale, sweep up now. Exhale, hands together over the heart. Good job, all right, we're gonna prepare for the other side now. So if you need to, readjust your mountain, and then we're going to ground on the right foot. Roots, but energize still. Lift your left heel, lift your left toes, and that could be a little or a lot. Soften your right knee, core engagement, belly button to spine, action, everything with an intention and a purpose. So step back using the muscles and not momentum into your lunge. Right knee over right ankle, right hip back, left hip forward, roll the shoulders back and down. Good, strong here in your lunge. Arms out, shoulder height, and then draw the shoulders back in line. Keep the hips and the knee forward. Inhale, start to twist, low back all the way up as you draw that right arm back and open it up. Arm shoulder with the um, shoulder height and uh, with that nice strong back leg and have that vibrant energy going. Now, your gaze, okay? Anchor it so you hold your balance. You can glance back at that right thumb, but that'll add a little extra challenge in there. Breathe here. One more breath. Ring out what's on your mind today in that twist. Use these twists to clean out today what we're holding on into in the body and the mind. So hands come together now, arms up overhead. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Use the power of your inhale and that core activation to step the left foot up, inside lines of the feet touch. Lengthen, relax your shoulders. Take a big inhale and then exhale. We're gonna dip over to the left with the torso, the right hip comes out, hips and heart forward, right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, extend through the fingers, breathe here, and standing half moon. Inhale, all the way up now, and as you exhale to you, your heart, wiggle the feet back into mountain. Exhale, shoulder height, soften the knees here, and lead with the heart. Hinge at your hips, heart leg fold, all the way with the heart till the last, very last second, the hands come to the floor. Don't settle in yet, up to the fingertips, get your length, and then hands could be to the floor, or you can take the yoga to the left here, first two fingers, wrap up first and second toe. Big inhale, and then exhale, drape the torso over the legs, elbows come out to the side, head heavy to the floor, hips high to the ceiling. You can lightly shake your head yes and no. And if you're in the toe lock, use that resistance. Toes against fingers, fingers against toes to draw you a little deeper. Breathe here. And then slowly release, inhale, let's roll up slowly. And exhale to your heart. Good job. Okay, let's talk eagle arms here. So just in mountain, and I'm just going to turn um, sideways so you can see. All right, and I'm going to actually stand, though, at a little bit of an angle. Sometimes I think maybe that'll help. Uh, eagle arms can be tricky. Okay, so listen to the cues. I'm not mirroring you for this, so just listen to the cues. So the first stop on eagle arms, okay, the most mildest, the mildest version is to just bring the palms together and see if you can get the forearms and the elbows together with nice relaxed shoulders. I'm fine if you're just here today. All right, I want you to really trust your body's intuition and see where it needs to be. Okay, our second stop on eagle arms, hands together over the heart. Inhale, feel the extension and the energy as the arms come out, relax the shoulders. Now exhale, you're gonna bring your right arm under your left. So stack the elbows. Now elbows are gonna bend, all fingers
shoulders are up to the ceiling. Now you can rest your hands. They could be apart or the backs of the hands can be together. And this could be your step two, your second stop. Okay, if you want to take it further, look at your hands. Now wiggle your right fingers because when you look at them, it looks like it's your left hand, but it's your right. So wiggle your right fingers past the fingers right in front of your nose and touch your left arm. Okay, and breathe here and notice the tension you're holding in the back and see if you can let it release and run right down your back and into the floor. Now we're going to do breath with movement here. I want you to inhale and lift your elbows. So let's get in there and exhale back to center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, center. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Next, I want you to draw circles with your elbows. Okay, we're going to take two circles in each direction. Breath and movement still. So inhale, circle up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now reverse your circles. And now back to neutral. This is my favorite part. Slow motion, slower than your mind would want you to. I want you to unwind the arms and feel the energy move and transfer. And then the arms come down. Now roll your shoulders up, back and down. Good, that's a big release back there. Remember, arm strengthening and then shoulder releasing. Now sides are different. So let's see if you can feel what you're holding on the other side. Maybe the side might be more tender than the other. Okay, but I really want you to think of releasing. Send your breath there to where the pockets of tension are and use your breath to try to dissolve that tension just a little bit at a time, okay? And then it'll open up, okay? So work with it, work with your breath and give your body the permission to release it. If it's tension that's held, if it's emotional tension in there too, the energy that's not serving you positively, it's time to release it here, okay? So other side, so readjusting your mountain and remember the forearms can just be together with the palms, okay? Or inhale, arms out, shoulder height. Now bring left under right, elbows bent, and fingers up to the ceiling. This is your second stop, okay? And then after that, you can pass the fingers, left fingers in front of the nose, touch your right palm. Good. And arms could be away. You could also bring and rest the thumbs against the third eye point there. That's okay, too. All right, are you ready? Breath and movement. Let's see if we can release the tension on this side. So inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now circle. Draw circles with the elbows. Breath and movement still here. Inhale. And exhale, now reverse for two circles. And then come back to center and then slow motion unwind. <laughs> you hear massage in the back, <laughs> arms come down. And then shoulders up, back and down. Good, and then shake it out. So really um, take advantage when those arms unwind and just feel that energy opening and releasing. So even though Eagle Pose, you're wrapped up and we're bringing out that energy, when it releases, there's such an openness and freedom to it. So really feel connected uh, and enjoy that, okay? All right, are you ready to start our sequence? Now here's the great news about Eagle Pose. And remember, I'm gonna leave little steps each time. For eagle pose, when we cross one leg over the other, and remember, you can lift and cross over, or you can just trace the ground, okay? So that good news with eagle pose is the toes never have to leave the ground if that's um, where your practice is taking you today, even when you cross one leg over the other, okay? Um, the other leg positions I'll be talking to you about today, but I just want you to see them head on here. So toes can be down, remember our knees um, they're 
one on top of the other there, they're like snuggled together, and then you think at your hip creases, think chair pose to lock the pose in. We're gonna be doing, again, many variations, but I just wanna show you the other um, positions for the foot, so toes can be down. You can lift the toe and sort of hug the foot to the leg, or the most challenging would be if you can hook, wrap the leg and hook the toes behind the calf, okay, and lock it in. So we'll be working with all three of those. I'm gonna be showing all three varieties today. We'll be adding the arms in as we go. All right, so let's get started. So come back up to your mountain. Keep hip distance, get nice and grounded and centered. Remember when we step into eagle pose here, you can keep the toes on the ground, okay? All right, nice and energized and active on the left side. Right side releases, lift the right heel. And then if you choose, lift up with the toes, a little or a lot, cross over. Toes are down here, knees snuggle together, sink and lock the pose in. Torso lifted, breath flowing, release the shoulders. Stay with your breath here, activate through the legs, powerful energy. Take one more breath here, and then we're gonna unwind, and belly button to spine, core activation with intention, step back into lunge, feet hip distance apart, left knee over left ankle, square the hips. Lift up and out of the low back, release the shoulders. You can keep the hands over the heart here if you want to, raise them up overhead. Now release the shoulders, powerful and strong. Be with your breath here, present moment awareness. Low jaw soft, shoulders are released, breath is flowing. Take two more nice full deep breaths here and then we're gonna open the energy up into a warrior two. So right toes open, hips and heart open, and then drop the arms, shoulder height. Just check in, left knee over left ankle, active through the legs. And then remember, you can make this pose milder by drawing the right leg in a little or deeper by stepping it out. The left leg stays constant. We'll relax the shoulders one more time. Look out over the front fingers, three here. Confident and powerful and strong in warrior two. And then bring the right hand down to the right thigh, left palm up to the ceiling, sweep up, and relax your shoulder away from the ear. Make some space on the left side. You can continue to reach for the ceiling with a drop shoulder, or you can walk the right fingers down on the right leg and dip back slightly. Keep it nice and open here, that right ear away from the right shoulder. Lots of full deep breathing into the left side, nice and open. One more breath now, take the right arm back up, pick up the back heel, you're back into lunge. Bring the hands together over the heart. Core activation, step that right leg up and cross it over. This time, toes can be down, of course, or you can snuggle the foot in or hook the toes at the calf, behind the calf there. Sink down and breathe here. One more breath, arms come up overhead, release the leg. With intention and purpose, step back to your lunge, solid and strong. Take one more breath here, and so much length in the spine. Lift up and out of the back, come out so long, come down, frame the foot. We're gonna follow the energy and take this leg back into a plank with the leg lifted, just hip distance, hip height with the leg. Okay, look down at your mat. Now knee to nose, hug it in. And now follow the energy up and back to a down dog, leg lifted, breathe here. Good, one more breath, hug the knee in. And then lightly step between the hands. Bring the left hand inside, you're gonna walk yourself around on your mat. Adjust the legs, you can widen the stance here as needed. Up to the fingertips, nice long spine, and then exhale, release into your fold, just to that first edge, that first spot of sensation. Let the head and neck go. Breathe here, be here with it. And then after a breath or 
two, you come back up, get some more length, and then exhale and fold again. Elbows bend towards you, working those forearms down. Breathe here. And then when you're ready, slowly releasing, we're going to walk over towards the right leg. Stay low. We're going to frame that right foot. And then we're going to take this right leg up and back to a down dog leg lifted. So big inhale, follow the energy on the down dog leg lifted today. Try to keep both um, sides of the ribs facing the mat. Try not to open up here. I'm okay if that right hip opens a little, but best you can keep everything facing the mat. Now exhale, hug the knee into the nose, hug, hug, hug. Lightly step between the hands. Left foot comes up to meet it. Come up to the fingertips, nice long spine, and then drape the torso over the legs. Take a fold, hands to the floor, making contact. Head heavy, hips high. Breathe into the backs of the legs. And then inhale, roll up slowly. Take your time. And exhale to your heart. Good job. Let's take that all on the other side now. And when you're ready, active yet grounded on the right side. Left side releases. Then you can just slide the toes over or lift and cross over. Toes are down, ball the foot's down, knees snuggle together. Release. Legs active and working for you. Upper body open and free. Keep the breath flowing, don't clench the jaw. Ease. Okay, unwind. And now step back with purpose and intention into your lunge. Grounded, rooted, strong. Now open it up and release. Make any adjustments. And then you can choose to add the arms in and settle into the pose now. Allow the breath to smooth out the thoughts today. Let your breath be your anchor. Inhale here, and then exhale. Open those left toes, right knee stays over the right ankle. Hips and heart open, drop the arms. Present moment awareness, let's relax those shoulders. Vibrant, breathe here. One more breath and then we'll reverse it. I'm gonna lead right in, but if that doesn't feel right, just reach to the ceiling with a drop shoulder. So inhale up, and then exhale, release. Lots of space in the upper body. And then we're gonna pick up the back heel, turn everything back forward into the lunge. Hands come over the heart. Big, powerful inhale, step up. And then you could cross over this time, snuggle the foot in or hook. Sink at the hip creases, torsos lifted. Maybe go a little further here. And then release, come up, all the way back to your lunge. Set solid and strong. Now big inhale, square the hips forward and so much length come out. Hands to the floor. Now, right back into your plank with your leg lifted. So straight back, follow the energy. Look down at the mat, long head and neck. Now knee to nose, hug. Now up and back, down dog, leg lifted. Lots of extension and release at the same time. One more breath here, hug the knee in. Lightly step, right hand comes in, walk yourself around. Good. And then up to the fingertips, nice long spine. Exhale and fold and release. Work the edge. And go a little further. One more breath here. 
Come back to neutral. We're going to walk around towards the left leg. And now this left leg all the way up and back. Down dog, leg lifted. Follow the energy. Extension and release. Breathe here. And then hug the knee into the nose. Step between the hands. Right foot comes up to meet it. Lots of length in the spine. Exhale and fold. Next inhale, roll up slowly. And exhale to your heart and set it. Great job. All right, so we're going to work through our next sequence. We're going to start just like we did one side. We're going to work over to the other. Some different elements this time, some different poses added in, but also with our eagle pose taking a little further. So we're going to add the arms in this time. We're going to add them in with our eagle pose, but then I'm also going to add them to goddess pose. I like to use eagle arms, or, you know, students ask a lot about shoulder releasing. You know, that's a place we hold a lot of tension. So I like to use those arms in warrior two, in warrior one, and then also in goddess pose. So we're going to add that in today. And with our eagle uh, legs, we're taking it the step further now where and it's okay if the toes are down, snuggled or locked, but we're gonna sink a little further. And then with eagle pose, you could also take the pose further by folding in half, okay? So folding the pose and then coming back out. Now, the challenging thing with the fold, and you don't have to add that in today, but what makes it actually challenging is your gaze, your dristy point. So you go from looking out and having your gaze focused there to then switching it and looking down at the floor. So that switch and gaze adds that extra challenging element, okay? So just play with it today. Remember, with your balance pose, if you come out of it, it's okay, just come right back in, all right? You have to keep that lighthearted element. Even try to smile while you're in them, okay? If we start to really take it too seriously and like scrunch up the face, we start to tend to hold the breath and I wanna keep such an ease and lightness around it, okay? All right, here we go. So we're back in mountain. Nice and rooted and strong. Feel grounded on the left foot. Right heel releases. We'll pick up the foot. We'll cross over, toes down, snuggled or hooked. We'll really sink it this time. A little further. Now add the arms. Arms out, right under left, elbows bend. Right fingers, touch left palm. Sink a little, elbows lift. Breathe here. Really releasing. Now, unwind slowly and feel the energy move. Feel the freedom to that. Lift and then step back to your lunge. Grounded and strong. Up and out of the lower back, hearts open. Gaze is soft, breathe here. One more breath, palms together. Now open the right toes and open your hip and heart. Keep the left knee over the left ankle. And we're gonna go right into extended side angle. So bend the left elbow, bring the forearm on top of the thigh, lots of length, and then right arm, bicep over the ear. Palm to the floor, extend. One big line of energy from the pinky edge of the right foot through the right fingers. Make sure your gaze is comfortable, head and neck always happy, always most challenging to look up. Breathe here. Now inhale, come up, touch your palms together. Exhale behind you, clasp the hands. If the hands aren't available, wrists, forearms, or elbows, shoulders back and down, heart open, top of the head reaches towards the ceiling. Let those shoulders release. Full deep breathing. One more breath here, and then we're gonna go right back into our extended side angle. You can take it deeper this time. So inhale up, and then you can bring the forearm to the thigh like we just did. You could bring the arm to the floor. If you're a binder and you can get the um, shoulder below the knee, you can wrap around and keep it nice and open. Okay, whatever suits you today. 
full deep breathing here. And then up and back into the reverse warrior. Open that left side, right arm comes up, we're coming back into our lunge. Good, ground and strong, use the power of the inhale, arms up, shoulder height, step up. Cross the right over the left. Lock the legs in, right arm under left, elbows bent. Get your arms set, sink. Soften your gaze, and this time if you wanna fold it, you can. Breathe. Come back up slowly. It's okay if it's a little wobbly. Release. Sweep out and up, back to lunge. Now, so much length, come out long. And then we're gonna take this this time all the way up and back, down dog, leg lifted. Slow motion, lower into a plank leg lifted. Now, Knee to nose, hug, step through. This time we're gonna walk around, knees soft, hands to thighs, we're gonna roll up slowly, all the way up. Touch overhead, and as the toes turn 45 degrees or a little less, preparing for goddess, we're gonna bring our arms shoulder height. So get yourself set. Extension. Now right under left here, elbows bend. Right fingers touch left palm. Lift the elbows, sink into your goddess. Breathe, you can close the eyes here. Let the heat build. Make it sustainable, don't go too far. Now we're really gonna open up the upper back here and get a nice release. Keep the arms, keep the legs, let the pelvis spill forward and fold. Fingers point towards the floor. Let your head and neck go. Broaden through the shoulders. Unwind now. Plant the hands, straighten the legs. Get your length and fold. You can bend the elbows, work the forearms down. You can take the toe lock here and release. Breathe. Don't forget your edges after a few breaths. Look up, get a little more length and fold again. One more breath here. And then we're gonna come back to neutral. Walk over to the right. Pivot on the feet. Get yourself set. Up and back. Down dog, leg lifted. Knee to nose, hug. Step between the hands. Left foot comes up. Lots of length. And then dive into the fold. Inhale, roll up. And exhale to your heart. Good, let's prepare for the other side. All right, other side now. So get nice and grounded on the right foot and stay energized at the same time. And we're gonna lift the left heel, lift the left toes, cross over, lock the pose into your position that feels right, and then bring the arms out, shoulder height, left under right, elbows bent, left fingers touch your right palm, Lift your elbows and release into the pose. Keep the breath flowing. One more breath here, unwind. Feel the energy release. Step up, inhale with purpose and intention. Step back so strong into your lunge and then make your adjustments. Open up and breathe. Remember, releasing that struggle and that control and just let the pose be, be the witness. Watch it open up, feel the heat building. 
Let that feel cleansing today. One more breath here. Now touch the palms together. Open up the left toes. Open up the hips and the heart. Hips and heart and keep the knee over the ankle on the right side. Inhale here. Exhale. Bend the right elbow. Come right into your extended side angle. Keep it lifted with lots of space. Extend through the fingers. Lots of full deep breathing here. One more breath, inhale up. Now palms touch, hands behind you, clasp what's available. And then shoulders back and down, heart open, breathe. One more breath, inhale up. And then right back into your extended side angle. You can take a deeper variation if you choose. And then up and back into the reverse warrior. Follow the energy. And then back into lunge. Now get ready, get yourself set. We're gonna take flight, arms come out, shoulder height, step up, cross, get set. Left under right, elbows bend, take the arms, sink a little further. And then if you choose, you can fold it in half here. Bringing the elbows towards the knees. Good, coming back out with control. Step back, lots of length. Come out long, all the way up and back. Down dog, leg lifted. Stretch that leg out, follow the energy. L slowly lower into a plank leg lifted. Knee to nose, hug it in. Step it between the hands. Right hand comes in, walk yourself around. Now ground through the feet, soften the knees, hands to the thighs, slowly roll up. Sweep up, touch, adjust for goddess. And just to that first edge, left under right, elbows bend, left fingers, touch the right palm, lift and lower. Lift the elbows lower into the squat. Engage, feel that powerful energy coming up through the bottoms of the feet. Breathe here. Keep the arms, keep the legs. Start to spill the pelvic bowl forward. Let those shoulders go. Unwind now, hands to the floor, parallel. Inhale, lots of length. And then you could turn the fingers in the opposite direction and walk through the legs. You could take the toe lock. Lots of variations here available. Inhale, exhale, fold. Remember your edges. Getting some length, going a little further. One more breath here, and then we'll release. We're gonna walk around towards the left foot. Frame, length, all the way up and back. Down dog, leg lifted. Stretch it out. Hug it in, step between the hands, right foot comes up, lots of length, dive into your fold and release. Inhale up slowly and exhale to your heart. Really great job with that. All right, we've been working with Eagle Pose today, starting off in Mountain Pose, but what if we built the sequence from the ground up, okay, and started our foundation low on the mat and then came up to Eagle Pose? So that's what we're gonna try out here in this last sequence. Okay, so into Mountain. When you fold forward here, I'm gonna leave the swan dive, um, that's a 
little more active for your back. So if your back's a little cranky today, please take your forward fold with bent knees. All right, nice and grounded and strong here now. So ground yourself, sweep up with the power of the inhale. Exhale, shoulder height. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, softness of your knees. Hinges your hip, lead with your heart. Nice and open there, all the way. Last second, hands come down. Step back with your right leg. Left knee over left ankle. This time we're gonna drop the right knee down. Okay, now if you have your hip directly over your knee, or if your knee's on board, and only if your knee is on board and your body, you can walk those right toes back. So you're a little past the knee, you're getting a really great um, quadricep stretch here. Okay, left hip back, right hip forward. Come up when you're set and steady. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, relax the shoulders, now powerful and strong. Think about bringing ease to the pose here, being the witness and just being present in it. So release any holding, stay with your breath and just be here. We're gonna take two more nice full deep breaths and then you can choose, you can bring the hands back to the floor or you can keep them raised. You're gonna curl the back toes under and with the power of your inhale, you're gonna lift up into high lunge. Breathe here, and now from here, power of the inhale, step up, cross, take your eagle, right arm under left, sink, and then if you want to and you feel steady, you can fold it. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Unwind, sweep up, and back into mountain. Good job with that. Let's try the other side. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release. Inhale, step back with the left leg. Right knee over right ankle, drop the left knee. Left hip over knee or walking those toes back if the body's on board. Square the hips, come up, sweep up, and now release it. Powerful and strong and open. Be here with your breath. Be here in this energy you've created today. And then when you're ready, bringing the hands back down to the floor or keeping them raised, curl the left toes under, power of the inhale, yoga leap of faith, lift. And then when you're set and ready, step up, cross, left under right, elbows bend, release into the pose. Sink lower, and then if you want, you can fold in half. Come up with your breath, unwind, and set it. Great job. All right, we're gonna work our way to the floor now. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor, right leg steps back, left leg steps back into a plank. Nice and long through the head and neck, look down at your mat. Inhale, lift your right toes, bring your knee to your nose. Stretch back out. Inhale, bring the knee right above the elbow. Lower it to right above the wrist. Pull it back up, right above the elbow. Now straighten it back out. Lower down, left toes lift, knee to nose. Stretch it back out. Uh, knee comes in right above the elbow. Touch the back of the arm. Now right above the wrist, right behind the elbow, stretch it back out, lower down, child's pose. Bring your hands by your feet. And then come up and we're gonna roll uh, onto our backs. So come up 
up to the front of the mat here, and we're going to roll onto our backs. Enjoy that, hug the knees in, then we'll rock side to side, feet to the floor, hands down on either side of your hips. And now we're going to take bridge pose today. So I really want you not to look side to side, try not to look over at me. I know I'm looking that way because I'm looking to the camera, but I want you to stay looking up to the ceiling. So I want your feet hip distance apart. Okay, so make sure the inside lines of the feet aren't touching. It's straight down from the hips. Okay, hands down either side of you, shoulders back and down. So you have that nice space for your back and always that nice natural curve of the neck. After that shoulder work you did today, the shoulders will get a nice massage here now. All right, when you lift up too, make sure the knees are in line with the toes and you don't roll to the instep and the knees cave in and you don't roll to the pinky edge of the foot and the knees open up. And usually you wanna to try to have the knee over the ankle when you lift up. So you take about a half a footprint in closer to your body. That's usually the measurement that works pretty well. And now we're gonna lift the hips up like we're lifting right up here from the belly button. Keep the glutes soft, okay? We're gonna just lift up to that first edge. So press into the feet, press into the hands and lift and breathe here. Draw the breath into the belly up through the heart, all the way to the throat. Exhale in the opposite direction, illuminating those chakras there. Yellow solar plexus, green at the heart, blue at the throat, lower down slowly. Good, take a resting breath in between. And then press into the hands, press into the feet again. And make sure you make any adjustments to your foundation before you do, it's okay. Need to roll the shoulders back and down one more time. Now we'll lift up again. This time if you want to add the arms in, shimmy them underneath you, roll to the outer edge of the triceps, clasp your hands, pinky edge of the hand is down. See if that gives you a little more lift. Breathe here. Softness and ease. Exhale, lower down slowly. And then again, any adjustments? Okay, we're gonna take that again, or you have an option to lift one leg up to the ceiling. If you choose that option, you have to make sure that the other hip stays lifted and that you don't sink through the hip when the leg is lifted. It's not worth the trade-off to me. The alignment is always so important. Don't sacrifice that to go deeper, okay? So see how your body feels. All right, here we go. And if lifting the leg doesn't feel right for your body today, Regular bridge is just fine. Ready? Press into the hands, press into the feet, lift. And then you can add the arms in if you choose. And then feel nice and steady in the right side. And when you're set, then you're going to lift the left leg up. Okay. Extend through the toes. Keep that right hip lifted so strong. Breathe here. Exhale, lower down. Then get nice and grounded, stay nice and grounded on the left side, nice and strong. And then when you're ready, right toes lift up, straight up, breathe here. Keep that left hip lifted, keep the breath flowing. One more breath here, and then slowly lower, and then lower your bridge. Hug the knees in. Rock side to side. We're gonna finish off with our gentle closing twist. Since we did eagle today, you can choose to take eagle legs, okay? That's gonna deepen the twist, so you have to kind of gauge what feels right for your body, okay? Just our gentle closing twist, the regular version, arms are out like wings, palms to the floor. You're gonna keep the knees together and drop both knees over to the left, okay? If you wanna take eagle legs here, you cross the right over the left and you can hook the toes or snuggle and take an inhale and then with taking great care you're going to dip the legs over to the left and then you can look out over the right arm or just stay neutral in your gaze breathe our last ringing out here of the day if you're in eagle legs, unwind them here first 
and then bring both knees back up to center. And then we'll prepare for the other side. So just bringing both knees over to the right or crossing the left over the right and snuggling or hooking. Take an inhale and then exhale, the legs come over to the right. And you can look out over the left arm or stay neutral. Lots of full deep breathing here. And then inhale and wind the legs first, bring them back up to center, hug in, and then really trust, this is such an important part of class, trust what your body needs, what other stretch it still has that it wants to take today. Honor that here. And then we're gonna take a few minutes with our breath. You can choose to stay reclined or you can wrap yourself back up to a comfortable seat. I'm gonna sit up on my block again. So we're just gonna take a few deep breaths together today and allow that energy we stirred up to integrate, okay? So get nice and comfortable. Eyes can close, or you can just have that soft gaze. And come back to your breath. And I just want you to feel connected to the soothing rhythm of it, the gentle rise and fall. working to bring that nice ease to the mind and think about our work in eagle pose today now the strength that was built in the legs and the arms but at the same time that release think about the cleansing action of the pose and how that creates space in that brings so be here with this energy allow it to feel calming and soothing and nurturing at the same time with a calm and confident energy Today with a connection to your breath to receive the gift of your practice today. Something so personal and special to you today. As the thoughts come through here, that's okay. Just come back to your breath.
for gratitude mm -hmm. for all our bodies have given us today and for our time together as we bring our hands together over the heart. Honor your strong practice. Acknowledge this time you created in your day for self-care. So important. And let's just take a few breaths into our heart here and watch what comes into focus. for you today. Feeling ever connected to your intuition and your inner knowing and confidently grounded and rooted in your true nature, in your true self. All right, always before we finish for the day, we let out a nice cleansing sigh just to release any last bit of tension or holding in both the physical and the emotional body. Let's release it together. Ready? Deep breath in. Side out, and then sweep up and surround yourself with the positive and renewed energy you've created. Surround yourself with it, and then we'll draw it to our heart with an own to see our practice. And I thank you so much for practicing with me today and for sharing your energy. So my heart is just filled with gratitude for being your guide. So with that, the light in me and what's special within me sees and honors the light, the bright, and what's so special within me. Namaste. Hi, this is you from Ever Present Yoga. If you enjoyed the class today, don't forget to hit the like button right below the video and don't forget to subscribe to see more content. Thanks so much for practicing with me today.